वेलकम माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर स्टेबिलिटी कैलकुलेशन एक्सरसाइज वन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ अ टैंक टेन मीटर डीप हैज वर्टिकल साइड्स इट्स बॉटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल ट्वेल्व मीटर बाय ट्वेल्व मीटर बाय टेन मीटर फाइंड द मास ऑफ ऑयल ऑफ रिलेटिव डेंसिटी जीरो पॉइंट एट टू बी लोडेड अलाविंग थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑयल लोडेड फॉर एक्सपेंशन स्टेट द अलेज ऑन कंप्लीशन ऑफ लोडिंग ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज देर इज वन टैंक सपोज दिस इज योर टैंक एंड इट्स बॉटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल लाइक दिस एंड इट्स साइड्स आर ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व टेन and this is also 10 meter deep so we have to find the allege in this condition so for allege first we have to find mass then allege so to find the mass we have to find its volume its volume so let me draw the triangle again this is our triangle we know the sides are 12 12 and 10 to find the volume area is l into b by 2 and volume is l into b into h by 2 we know the length of triangle we know the breadth of triangle but we need height so for height what we do is first we find the height using pythagoras theorem so what is pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square so let me write the name for our triangle this is p this is q this is r and we have to find this height this means let name it s so we know this is 10 meters so this length is 5 meters this length is 12 meters this is 90 degree so we can use this formula to find the height so our hypotenuse side is 12 meter so square of 12 base is 5 meter plus perpendicular square okay now it is 144 which equals to 25 plus perpendicular square so this is r perpendicular square will be 144 minus 25 which is equals to 119 and when you take out 119 from the under root it is coming something 10.9 meters so we have find the height of the triangle that is now our triangle will look like this p q r well well this is 10.9 and this overall is 10 we got the height of the triangle so what will do we will find the volume of total this is our figure so what we will do we will find the volume for the total figure so area of triangle is equals to length into breadth length into breadth divided by 2 
our length is 10 into width is 10.9 by 2. So, n into 10.9 divided by 2 is something 54.5 meter square. This is the area of our triangle. Once you multiply the area of triangle with the height of the rectangle, this rectangle, you will get the volume. Volume is 545 meter cube because area is 54.5 and if we multiply this triangle area with the height or depth of this rectangle, we will find the volume for the total figure. So, this is the total volume. Now, we have to leave 3% of the total volume of oil. So, what we will do is, this is total volume of oil. Now, this is the volume of oil after re reduction of 3% plus 3% of this V. So, this is total volume. This is oil's volume. This is 3% alleged volume. So, total will be tank volume. So, 545 will be 1.03 V. When you solve it, when you remove the percentage sign and will you solve it, you will get 1.03. So, 545 divided by 1.03 is equals to volume of oil and which is equals to 545 divided by 1.03. That is 529.126 meter cube. So, we got our volume for the oil. We know the density. We can find the mass for the cargo oil. So, mass will be 529.126 that is volume. and multiply by density so it will come something 423.6 ton so we find the mass this is our mass now for allege what we have to do to find the allege first let me erase it so Allege the oil will start filling from here. So, allege will be this portion. So, we know that depth of free space is equals to volume of free space divided by L into B of tank. When you divide the volume of the free space with the area of tank, you will get the depth of free space. And volume of free space we know. How we know? The total volume is 545 meter cube. Okay. This is total volume. And the volume we got for the oil is 529.126 meter cube. This is our oil's volume. So, once we minus it, so volume of free space will be 15.88 divided by length into breadth we know. We can find it. Let me find it. Even we know the length and breadth because length and breadth is the area basically. So, uh, we got the area and that is 54.5 meter square. This is the length into breadth of tank. So, once you divide the volume of free space with the length into breadth of tank that is 54.5 meter, you will get the edge something 0 
Let me write it correctly. When you divide 15.88 with 54.5 meter square, you will get the lay 0.291 meters. And this is the answer for our question. Basically, we have find the area for the triangle. We have multiplied the area of triangle with the depth of the this rectangular part. So we have find total volume for this. Now, total volume that is 545 is for this total all over the figure. But we have to leave the allege for the 3% of the oil carrying capacity. So when you find out the 3% of the oil carrying capacity, you will get the volume of oil. That is 529.126 meter cube. Once you get this volume, you can find the mass that is 423 something about that. And after mass, you will come to know how to find the allege. Basically, depth, height of the allege, height of this is free space, height of the free space divided by the length into breadth of time. So you will get allege, and allege is 0 0.291 meter. Let's move to the next question. A rectangular tank measuring 25 meter into 12 meter into 8 meter has an alleged pipe projecting 0 0.3 meter above the tank top. Find the salt water mass in the if the allege is 3.3 meter. Okay. So guys, allege is already given. We have to find mass of the salt water in the tank. Let me draw the tank first. This is our tank. This is 25 meters till 25 meters. Now 12 meters is the width and 8 meters, let's say this one, this is 8 meters. And there is a pipe projecting upwards. So the length of this pipe is 0 0.3 meters. Now the given data is pipe is 0 0.3 meters. Allege is already given that is 3.3 meters and total is 8 meters so imagine the situation this is 0 0.3 meters this is 8 this is 8 meters so if i count from here the total length is how much 8.3 meters from the tank top to the opening of the pipe above the tank is this is 8 this is 0 0.3 so total is 8.3 allege is already given this means our oil is filled till this level so 0 0.3 and this is 3 meters how total allege question already says that total allege is 0 0.3 3.3 so and total height from the tank top to the allege pipe is total height is 8.3 and our alleged pipe is 3.3 so the level of liquid is 5 meters that is very basic algebra so we got the height of the liquid inside the tank we have relative density also that is salt water so relative density is 1.025 and uh, we know L into B into H also for the cargo that is 25 by 12 by 5 now this is 5 length and breadth will be same for the tank and liquid but the height of the tank is 8 meters but our height of cargo is 5 meters. This is 3 meters space and this is 0.3. So that's why it is 3.3 allege. So 
वी विल फाइंड द वॉल्यूम दिस इज 15,000 मीटर क्यूब सो वी गॉट आवर वॉल्यूम नाउ फॉर द मास वन यू मल्टीप्लाई द वॉल्यूम विद दी डेंसिटी यू विल गेट द मास एंड मास इज समथिंग अराउंड वन फाइव थ्री सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टन वी गोट आवर मास ऑल्सो सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द क्वेश्चन अगेन guys this is a tank and this tank is like this and there is a pipe coming out from the tank like this the height of this pipe is 0.3 meters this is 12 meters this is 25 meter and the height of the tank is 8 meters so and question is saying allege is 3.3 meters so how we will come to know about the height of the liquid basically the allege will be the liquid will start filling from here it's filling 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 now 0.3 the length of this pipe and allege is 3.3 so if you go down like this so 0.3 3 meters will you come here when you come here this is your cargo as allege is 3.3 3 meters is Inside the tank and point three is outside the tank inside the pipe. That's why it is three point three. So what we did is we find this height. We know this is salt water, so we know the density. We know the density. We come to know with the height. By this we find volume, and we just multiply it with the density. So we will find our. mass of the cargo and this is the question was asking so guys this is for today's video we have completed from question 1 to 5 you can check for the you can check my previous video for the question 1 2 and 3 uh, in next video we'll start from the question 7 and we'll complete it till 10 question number 6 what about question number 6 is i'll put the question number 6 in a different video because it is have some different kind of concept so we can't mess up with the our daily regular video so that's all for today so we will meet in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat